Singer-songwriter Jimmy Buffett, who parlayed his song Margaritaville into a billion dollar fortune, has recently passed away at the age of 76. Jimmy was known for popularizing his own tropical vacation style of soft rock music, and his hit 1977 song Margaritaville became an empire of restaurants, resorts, and frozen fruity drinks. Seeing as that song is about a laid back beach bum lifestyle, does it come as any surprise that Jimmy and his wife spent much of their life living in Palm Beach, Florida? And according to Forbes, Jimmy reached billionaire status recently thanks to his Margaritaville and Cheeseburger in Paradise brands. This allowed the singer to buy and sell plenty of Florida real estate, including a lavish and modern beachside estate he sold in 2020 for $6.9 million, and a larger oceanfront mansion that sold for a record breaking $18.5 million back in 2010. At the time of his death, Buffett owned at least two homes on Root Trail, a short ocean block street lined with historic cottages and townhomes. Jimmy Buffett, the singer-songwriter who turned his hit song Margaritaville into an entire lifestyle brand, has passed away at the age of 76. The song from the album Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes spent 22 weeks on the Billboard charts back when it was released in the late 70s. Margaritaville was further inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2016 for its cultural and historic significance. It became a karaoke standard and even helped brand Key West, Florida as a global destination. Buffett had been added to Forbes Billionaires back in April 2023. His wealth wasn't just from ticket sales and his expansive music catalog, but from his Margarita Holdings chain of merch, resorts, and restaurants, which he created with a focus on his style of his carefree tropical escape music. Jimmy Buffett was born in Mississippi and raised in Alabama, but made Florida home with its ocean breeze laid back life and happy hour afternoons, both through his music and his personal life. A longtime resident of the Palm Beach area, he made no excuses for living the good life. A statement posted to his official website and social media on September 1st stated, Jimmy passed away peacefully on the night of September 1st, surrounded by his family, friends, music, and dogs. He lived his life like a song till the very last breath and will be missed beyond measure by so many. No doubt, Jimmy also left quite the Margaritaville legacy behind as well. Jimmy Buffett had deep residential ties to Palm Beach dating back to the early 1990s or even before. At the time of his passing, he owned at least two properties on Root Trail, a short oceanside street lined with historic cottages and townhouses. In December 2020, he and his wife Jane sold a Palm Beach house they owned on Garden Road for nearly $7 million, where they had lived since 2011. A decade prior to that sale, the Buffetts sold an even larger five-bedroom waterfront mansion across town for a record-breaking $18.5 million. They had paid $4.4 million for the 1.6-acre property in 1994, but the house was later demolished and eventually replaced by a mansion under a new owner. In 2013, Jimmy had purchased what is his last known property on Root Trail in Palm Beach. Reports suggest that the singer paid around $1 million for a newly rebuilt Key West style home right across the street from another place Jimmy owned for over a decade. Records revealed that Buffett bought the second house on Root Trail through the same limited liability company he used back in 2002 to snag the building across the street on Root Trail. The most recent Buffett residence purchased in 2013 was a three bedroom bedroom home, boasting 3,163 square feet. At the time of sale, it boasted unfinished interiors and was once a four-unit apartment building built in the early 20th century. The property had architecture reminiscent of many Key West homes, and while the original clay walls were preserved, the home was transformed from a multi-unit structure into a single-family home before Jimmy purchased it. However, there were no photos or other details shared about this home aside from that. In 2020, Jimmy Buffett and his wife Jane sold one of their Palm Beach homes on the town's north end for $6.9 million. This island contemporary style home was ideal for the Florida lifestyle. Could there be a more suitable place you'd picture the Margaritaville singer living? Buffett purchased the property for just under $5 million in December 2011, and inside, it featured three bedrooms, three and a half baths, as well as almost 5,000 square feet of space. 
The modern island residence was built in 2003 and had stunning living spaces throughout, most of which were airy, white, and bright. The layout of the home centered around a combined living and dining room, with soaring vaulted ceilings, boasting skylights, and a walled mahogany framed glass sliders that lead out to the pool. The kitchen, where Jimmy no doubt whipped up his fair share of margaritas at one point, featured a nearly all white theme, as well as modern appliances and snack bar style seating. The way that the living areas opened right up to the deck outside gave the full experience of the indoor outdoor vibe, perfect for Florida. Each of the bedrooms boasted an ensuite, while the sprawling master bedroom had sliding glass doors opening to both the pool and luxury spa style bath. The fact that there were views of the lush gardens and pool from nearly every room completed the resort like feel of this home. A covered terrace just outside allowed for an al fresco dining area, while the focal point of the property was no doubt the deep blue colored sparkling swimming pool. The pool area featured plenty of lounging surrounding it while it's also set amongst a ton of tropical plants in a fountain. Other highlights of Jimmy's former home included a detached two car garage with dedicated guest suite built above it and exclusive beach access at Eden Road and Via Marilla. Well that's not the only sale the Buffetts had made in the town of Palm Beach. Back in May 2010 they sold a five bedroom mansion on Ocean Boulevard for a record-breaking $18.5 million. It was quite the epic sale considering the Buffetts bought the place for a mere $4.4 million in 1994. The five-bedroom, nine-bathroom abode was built back in 1925 and had been designed in a Mediterranean style by Marion Sims Wyatt. Later, it was remodeled into a British colonial style home. Situated on 1.6 acres, Jimmy's former residence was also oceanfront, boasting features like a tennis court, pool, guest house, and more. Unfortunately, there are no interior pictures of this mansion and sometime after the Buffetts moved, it was eventually demolished to prepare the land for an estate built by British real estate mogul Sir Peter Wood. Jimmy Buffett was often associated with Hawaiian shirts, flip flops, and a laid back beach style, and spending most of his time in Palm Beach suited him best. This area of Florida is well known for being home to other billionaires and celebrities too, including former President Donald Trump. Jimmy's involvement in the South Florida community while he was still with us included being a board member on the Everglades Foundation, as well as a regular participant at a number of annual charity fundraisers in Palm Beach. Buffett's mega brand began in 1985 with the opening of a handful of Margaritaville themed stores and restaurants in Key West followed in 1987 with the first Margaritaville Cafe nearby. Over the next two decades, several more of each opened throughout Florida, New Orleans, as well as California, just to name a few locations. Brand has since expanded to dozens of categories, including resorts, apparel for men and women, a radio station, a beer brand, iced tea, tequila and rum, home decor, food items like salad dressing, salsa and shrimp bites, the Margaritaville at Sea Cruise Line and restaurant restaurants, including Margaritaville Restaurant, JWB Prime Steak and Seafood, Five O'Clock Somewhere Bar, and Landshark Bar and Grill. Unsurprisingly, much of Jimmy's Margaritaville branding was in Florida. The first Margaritaville was at the Universal City Walk in Orlando in 1999. The singer further licensed the name to a Florida developer to create a $50 million oceanfront hotel in Pensacola in 2010, promising barefoot elegance, which kicked off the run of Margaritaville luxury hotels. When Jimmy Buffett released Margaritaville in 1977, he had no way of knowing that his beach-themed song would become an instant hit. The classic tune is still in rotation today and has led to a complete Margaritaville lifestyle brand. Jimmy might have passed away, but the billionaire has no doubt left behind a lasting legacy. After looking at the Palm Beach properties of Jimmy Buffett, that's gonna wrap up today's special edition of House Tour, but before we go, answer this this question for me. If you could create a lifestyle brand based on one destination that was special to you, where and what would it be? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kira the Vampire Slayer. I'll see you all in another video. Bye.